Jesus. I'll tell you, one thing about not having uh, gasoline and not driving your car is it gets you walking out into nature, despite the fact it's, you know, freezing out here. It's kind of like an adventure. This gas line stretches a mile long. The gas station's all the way down there. And that mile long gas wait, these people are waiting in vain probably because by the time they get up there there'll be no gas left see i'm fortunate i actually have gas in my cars but the problem is i refuse to drive until the gas situation is normalized after the situation is normalized then you can drive without fear but for now i walk everywhere and take this wonderful q6 which is free I'll take the bus so this is the situation this is New York City. It is currently Saturday, November 3rd. The city is suffering from a gas crisis brought about by the fact that electric power lines are down at tanker refueling stations. Therefore, we are left to rely on big government, something that Mitt Romney says is bad for us. Well, all I can say is this. There is no private entity that has enough money in its coffers to possibly dis deal with a situation like this. A situation where many homes are completely destroyed, a situation where public transportation is at a standstill, a situation where electricity is out across multiple counties. The problem with local governments is the fact that hurricanes do not know state boundaries. Hurricanes cross state boundaries with impunity. Earthquakes cross state boundaries with impunity. I'm out here looking for big government. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I pay taxes for. That's what I vote for. That's what we fight for as Americans. We fight for a government that can ensure that the safety and the security of the citizens are met. What do they have here? Gas tanks ready to fill up people's cars. They're giving 10 gallons of gas at these locations, at the armories inside the city. And, uh, and that's that. So right now we have a National Guard troop here ensuring that, uh, you know, the public peace is kept. This is 168th Street. I think the uh, tanks are kept on 160th, but I can see that this is where they're routing people. Let's go look for some big government. Oh, Chrysler 300C. You know, I would have bought one of these in the SRT8 version, but I'll tell you, after this gas crisis and the fact that my house didn't lose electricity, I think I'm gonna have to go for that Tesla Model S instead. You know, those Tesla Model S's, as long as you've got electricity, or as long as you can drive it to someplace that has electricity, all you need to do is bring your plug and you can plug that bastard in and you can charge that son of a bitch up just like your iPhone. Just like my iPhone, my iPhone 5, or my iPod. Let's go find some big government. Where is it at? It's got to be out here somewhere. Where, where are they refilling? Let's see. I thought they'd be doing it right here at the armory, the 104th Field Artillery, but apparently they're routing people elsewhere. Let's go see. Let's go find some big government. Where is it? All right. Shit. Like I said, we gotta go down a block. See what this looks like. There it is, that's big government over there. There it is. Providence. Gas tankers rolling through, police escorts, 
National Guard escorts. This is what big government is. This is what I pay my taxes to see. Jesus Christ, look at that line. Look at that freaking line. This is apocalyptic here. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at that one. Right next to a Pep Boys too, so that means I can get my car fixed and I can get gas. <laughs> if I needed my car fixed. Jesus Christ. Big government gas line, that's what it is. Look at that line. Just be thankful that this time it's only gas that we're looking for because it could very easily be food and water that cause lines to grow like this. And it looks like they're not filling up cars, they're just filling up gas cans. I don't know if there's a different line for cars, but for right now, it looks like it's just gas cans. I'm gonna go visit the flea market since I'm out here in post-apocalyptic New York City. Let's see what they get. Flea market in Queens. One hundred stores in the bag. Walk to the bag. The biggest flea market in Queens. They get a pair of thinner gloves. This is like an adventure here. Post apocalyptic New York City. And the bargain bin shoe rack. This reminds me of living in Shanghai. It's like they had these flea markets everywhere as well. They're selling all this cheap Chinese made shit. <laughs> but you can get some pretty good deals if all you needed was like, uh, you know, clothes. Clothes were cheap. And I miss China. The next trip I'm going to is Seychelles, Africa. May even try to go to Maldives. This shit right here. Oh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Control helicopter. Hmm. Might check that out. Stay tight to the curb. So, hey, what else? This is 
four twenty nine. What's going on? All of the uh, pumps where the cars are, it's, uh, what is it, 10, 10 gallons um, automatic? Yeah? Fuck this guy. 10? 10? For each car, 10 gallons? Oh. No. No, I, I'm full. I'm at home. I, I'm just walking around. It's it's easier. Traffic everywhere, you know? Traffic every goddamn way. Holy shit, this guy's getting gas for his fucking wheelchair. Or is he? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, he probably isn't. Jesus Christ. When social order breaks down, this is what we are left with.